Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective love reading. Let's see what's going on in the romance department. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I have the power of number four. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. So we could see the Emperor card kick in. Picking up on the four of pentacles and the four of wands. Somebody held back in the past or maybe you're clinging on tight to somebody's energy right now, Scorpio. We'll find out. Or somebody's trying to cling on to your energy. Wow, power number four again. Maybe we'll get a four, four, four. Do we get another four spirit? Do we get another four, we get a six. Four, four, six. But adding up the numbers brings us to the power of number 14. Some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius. We could see the temperance card kick in. Uh, some of you can be 41 or 44 or 46 years of age. You could have been born in 1961 or possibly 1964 for my more mature audience. We could see the magician card also show up. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or possibly a Gemini. It could be about communication that wants to come in or something that wants to happen instantaneously. Mm, tower card may also make its presence known. We'll see. Or somebody wants to build, rebuild a foundation with you. But Spirit's also saying go with the flow, you guys, in regards to your love life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, I went overboard. 15. You know what? I'm going to put the tarot deck back. I went over one by one number. Let's see here. Um, let's go into the Kipper deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And 14. You know, when the cards flipped out, I heard the song from the Rolling Stones, Jumping Jack Flash, for whatever reason. Maybe you're a Rolling Stones fan. Trusted Ancestors, what is the overall general collective love message for my awesome Scorpios, please? Okay. False person. Okay. I feel like this is past tense. I feel like somebody here is going to end up revealing themselves. Or maybe you're on guard right now. I'm seeing like the seven of wands in my mind's eye. Show me who this false person is. Trusted ancestors. Maybe this is somebody who was in denial or they needed to, um, they needed to drop their mask. Might have had a hard time being vulnerable with you. Okay. Somebody who might have put you through a lot of burden could be a fire sign. I feel like somebody's coming back in the mix. Or they want your forgiveness. What is this Ten of Wands burden? There's that Four of Pentacles. Somebody cannot get out of your energy, Scorpio, or you. 
maybe having a hard time releasing and letting go somebody who could have been more or less a karmic connection. Maybe this is you wearing a false mask with somebody right now. It could very well be true for some of you guys. There could have been a person that has already returned back to you or tried to make their presence known. But maybe this time around, you are the one putting the mask on just because of protecting, protecting your energy. I feel like very strongly this is a person from the past. That could be going also, too, through an uphill battle because they might have thought, obviously, the grass was greener on the other side, which it really wasn't. You know what? I'm going to combine the energy of this Ten of Wands and this false person. Yeah, somebody who left you out in the cold could have taken you for everything that you got or this person got kicked to the curb maybe by a third party. Show me the five of pentacles, two of wands. Yeah, see, now somebody's making plans. I feel like this person is making plans to come and see you. I'm going to combine the energy of this false person and this five of pentacles. Show me trusted ancestors. So who is this false person in re relation to the five of pentacles? What is this? Huh. First, a small percentage of you, you guys could be dealing with somebody who is in prison or somebody who liked to play mind games before in the past. Or this person it has their hands tied or their hands were tied. So they had to drop you like a hot potato. But why would it be true that somebody here energetically cannot let go of you? Why? Well, if anything, they know that they messed up. Let's say that. Why can't they like, oh boy, because this person, this person is energetically, they're feeling like you're going to be moving on or have moved on. I'm picking up an anxiousness. Makes me wonder now if the Knight of Swords is going to come up. I, I see the Knight of Swords very distinctively. Like trying to rush or race in for fear that they're going to lose out. Show me this Eight of Wands. The high priestess, somebody's been watching you behind the scenes, Scorpio. Could be a Pisces, could be an Aquarius. More specifically, I got fire energy. This person could come swooping in. I don't have a lot of emotion going on just yet with the, whoever this false person is. Or they're trying to get out of a really bad situation. That's what I'm hearing. I'm going to combine the energy of the Eight of Swords and this Eight of Wands. Because for whatever reason, Scorpio, this person... They were stuck or trapped. And due to that... Stuck or trapped by a karmic person. Picking up on Capricorn. Strong Capricorn energy I'm, I'm feeling. You could also told this person, Scorpio. You could have told them flat out the intuitive truth of what was going to happen to them if they went and had their little, you know, we'll just say their little rendezvous uh, with a third party you may even hear it from the horse's mouth that this person is not dealing with that third party anymore.
but still I don't have a lot of emotion. Yep, Capricorn energy coming in. For so for this could be straight up a Capricorn that you've been dealing with. It doesn't have to be, but toxic karmic situation. Somebody's trying to get out of a toxic karmic situation like ASAP. It almost feels where we're at in the energy of this reading. It's almost, it feels like the backstory of the video that I just previously uploaded. That somebody's bringing you justice. And they're for damn certain that they're going to be back together with you. This almost feels like the backstory of what's going on behind the scenes. Pretty much is because the high priestess is there. That's about hidden, like hidden wisdom, hidden knowledge, hidden truth. Somebody was holding back the truth that in fact, that whoever this person is, was going through a burden and you called them out on it. Mm. Show me this Capricorn and somebody's also obsessing over you. Could be a Leo. This person is obsessing about having it all with you. This false person from the past. I don't know. I, I, there's a spiritual wake-up call again. There was a spiritual wake-up call that I was picking up in the video prior to this one, but it was coming through the judgment card. Now I'm picking it up. It's like, almost, it's like coming through the sun card. They want to have success and victory with you. Uh, see Scorpio look I feel like you get there's that seven of wands like you guys have your guard up a lot of wands not a lot of cup energy going on here it's not to say the water signs are not out there they are but this is all action and thought process that's going on you forewarned this person you forewarned them this almost feels like a person that has come in and out of your life, Scorpio. And maybe you've always taken them back because you always thought that they were going that they had changed or that they were going to change. Mm. I don't know. Because the video I posted, the first card that came up in the video I posted was the Ten of Cups. That was getting towards your over the rainbow moment. Because there was a person coming in as a, as a Page of Pentacles, a King of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. We're going to do some extra clarification here. What is going on? There's some, just something not right about this person, Scorpio. But it's like when they come forward, it's like maybe all of that garbage that they've been dealing with and the circus act is going to be, you know, like poof, like disappear. You know what I mean? Show me the energy of this false person that Scorpio knows. Okay, in the past they weren't available or they're not available right now because they're going through some massive burden. So if you've tried to reach out to this person um, and they haven't responded to you, it's because, yeah, they're, they're dealing with a lot of BS right now. See, we will be together again. And in the last reading, somebody, it was, this card was clarifying the, the King of Wands. Now they're wishing, this person is wishing now, like in this moment, that they were with you. And it's, I feel like it's eating away inside of them. Huh. Yeah, they, they're clinging. Listen, whoever this person is, they have been clinging on to your energy. I cannot stop thinking about you. Yeah, they're obsessing.
you and I were too young. Somebody was immature. That's is that's what I pick up off of this card because not all of you were like in your early 20s dating this person. You know what I mean? No, there was a sense of immaturity that was going on. Or there could be an age gap between the two of you, just saying. That may or may not bother you with the age gap. I don't know. Somebody has been stuck or bound or chained to whatever. See, all the cards are intertwined or interconnected. Okay, and because I can extract and I can pull different storylines that try to get down to the heart of the matter. This person has been stuck, stuck all up in their head. Like I said, maybe there is an age gap between the two of you. Maybe some of you were reconsidering. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles, I hide, I hid who, I hid who I really am from you. This person could have projected themselves in such a way or in such a, a light. And that could be another reason for the false person. They could have pretended or acted like they had their shit together, but when in truth they really didn't. Okay, there's some form of good news coming in. I wish I could share my good news with you. That came up in the last reading as well. Show me the Seven of Pentacles. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, because I was picking up karma in the prior video because karma can come through the justice card and the judgment card. So I feel like this is a backstory to the video that I had just already posted for sure. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Or now they're putting up their guard with whoever's in the devil or this false person as well. So why do they want to make plans with Scorpio? Okay. Okay. So I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah. They knew what they were doing when they walked away. That is the damn truth. They knew. They're not stupid. They were stupid to walk away from you, but they knew what they were doing. Some of you could have flat out said to your person, you know what? You're a damn fool. A damn fool. Okay, you want to play that you want to play that game with me? You want to play that card with me? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and maybe even deep down inside you were like really angry or pissed off or sad or hurt, but you're like, "Okay. Wow. Kind of like the wow factor. Now this person, I'm picking up this person has a lot of regret. Five of Cups came up in the other reading as well. And whenever that Five of Cups or Page of Cups, it, that means that there was a judgment call. They told you at one time that they thought that the two of you were not meant to be together, but a lot of you were in your intuition saying, what, are, what the hell are you talking about? Of course we're good for each other. Of course we're made for each other. Somebody, this was, this was an insecurity because, again, this energy can come in a couple different ways. They went to go be with the toxic person because they thought that the grass was greener, could have gotten somebody knocked up, pregnant, whatever, had a karmic baby. Um, yeah. No, because they were, they were looking for a lustful. This person was looking for a lustful connection. And they were an opportunist as well. That's what I'm picking up. 
Yeah. See, they let you go because they they thought they were tempted. This person, this false person was tempted before in the past. Now it's like, okay, now they're rising back up, quote unquote, we'll say from, from the death of a relationship here. Okay, to now head to back towards you because that was coming up in the last reading. So, again, they could have told you, we just need to let each other go or I'm not the one for you or I just don't see this happening, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because they wanted a lustful connection. They were tempted. They were tempted with or wooed with some false it, it, to me, it's like false prosperity, false abundance. Because, and the reason why I say that, you guys, because they have a burden. And because they didn't choose you, okay? Okay, that puts you into a, a state of confusion. And then it also puts you um, into this feeling like, God, what the hell? You know, am I... Well, Am I not good enough here? I gave everything. I gave my money. I gave my time. I gave my body. I gave a blah, blah, blah. I gave it all. But they got an uphill battle. Yeah, see, this person, now, now they're getting into their sexual feelings. This is sexual feeling right here. I feel you even though we are apart. Which means in silence, behind the scenes, they could also be pleasuring themselves, thinking about you. I have to call it out as I hear it. So they're... they're what I'm feeling here is that their sacral chakra is, it's not, okay, I don't want to say it's a bad thing because we, we need to tap into our sexuality because sexuality is very powerful. We can use it to our greatest advantage and we can use it for the greater good. However, this person, you might have walked away from this person too in the past because they might have had an addiction, Sex addiction, porn addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, gambling addiction, whatever, marijuana addiction. Um, and so whatever this lustful connection was, obviously, they, they, they thought it was better. But little did they know that for some of you Scorpios, you guys started to rise to the top. That's why I say maybe that's why you're on guard because if this person comes back around trying to get on your good graces because you're protecting, you know, your success, your money, your health, your wealth, your abundance, this person also left you in a state of stress. Okay, so now it's like when this person comes back, Scorpio, you're going to be in the driver's seat in order to make some kind of a decision, The power, never underestimate the power of success. Because when you become successful, people will look at you all in a whole different way. And it's just funny how the brain works. <laughs> you know, they ghosted you. You know, maybe you didn't have, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe you weren't rich, but, you know, you worked your ass off and, you know, gave, but maybe this person that they went off had quote unquote money or whatever, but some of it, it I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe when I say this, it's like a false sense of money, not real wealth, not real riches. No. Could have been a lot of shady dealings that were going on with this karmic person, a male or a female, doesn't matter. It's just an element and an aspect I'm picking up on, but prepare your energy because this person from the prior reading, th there were three aces, you guys, and this person's coming in. I A lot of you guys are going to be very absolutely like hesitant of this person's energy. It's like you're almost not going to believe it. It's like your mindset will almost be in that seven of cups, like just 
what confusion, feeling mentally overwhelmed. Like, what am I really hearing this? Are you like, get the hell out of here. You know, it's just kind of like, you know, not wanting to, to hear maybe what this person has to say. But again, not a lot of emotion, but they're obsessing over something that has either happened to you, Scorpio, in a good way, or they found out. Or if you're still interconnected with this person on a social media platform, maybe you've been posting a little bit at a time, your successes, your little successes, and these little successes are growing into something big, or they just still have the same mutual common friends, okay? And you know what I mean? They're just, they're obsessing now. Let me see what's causing this obsession with this person. What is the obsession? Why did they want to be back with Scorpio so damn bad? What's up with this? Oh, geez. Card fell out. It's the message card. You guys could be getting a message from this person in the next seven days. Yeah. Okay. I was on the power of number seven, main female or male. It doesn't matter. That's you, Scorpio. Or this person could be reaching out to you on February 7th. Yep. They're this, this person just flat out. They're obsessing over you. Something about the past. Something about the past. What is this? A house. You have a new foundation. Maybe you moved into a new house. But I don't feel that that's the reason why. You could have lived with this person. This could have been an ancestral. I got to call it out all the messages I'm hearing. Ancestral home. Something about a foundation, something about moving in, living together. Somebody's concerned. Why is this person so obsessed over Scorpio? Oh my God, this person's going through a freaking tower moment. They're, they're losing their freaking marbles. That's what I'm hearing. Or they're freaking driving by your house. Yeah, they want to work on something here. Or they... They see your success growing. There's something in your energy, Scorpio, that this person cannot deny. Show me the tower. Show me the tower in this form of obsession with this person that Scorpio knows. Be a tower moment that could happen for this person on the 16th of February. Yeah. Lovers. This person is going to come in. It's going to be a shocker. They're going to reveal some truth unto you. But a lot of you are going to be massively on guard. It's, yeah, they're going to tell you out of the blue that they, they got to see you. They got to have you. They got to be with you. They got to make love to you. This person is like, are they freaking losing their marbles? Is that what I'm hearing? Are they losing their marbles? If the seven of cups kicks in, I'll be laughing. Is this person losing their marbles over Scorpio? Yeah, I'm looking for a yes or no temperance. Yes. Their life has not been balanced without you. What, wherever they went off to, it has been nothing but shaky ground. 
They had it all. <laughs> they had it all with you, Scorpio. King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn does not have to be. This could be somebody who is actually very stable or they've been working on their stability. Picking up very strong Virgo, Virgo. I keep hearing Virgo. Oh God, this person is, there could definitely be a Virgo spying in on you watching you like a hawk could be any zodiac sign but i am very strongly picking up on virgo but could be an aquarius libra gemini this person is watching you they're watching you rise to the top wondering what the hell you're doing scorpio Yeah, because they know they need to come forward. There's that page of cups. Like I said, this person could be going through a judgment call or they were blindsided. They were blindsided to the truth of this false person. It is something. It, it's eating them up. Oh, it is eating them up. That page of cups, five of cups, combination that means that there was a judgment call because this person is going to be begging you they know they backstabbed and betrayed you they could be going through a brutal ending with a person oh my god well the three swords came up in the prior video yeah they're crying over spilled milk what they had they had it all with you be prepared for anything be prepared. There's this energy of an apology. If you really want this person to apologize to you, even if you don't want them back, but you want an apology, then listen to a guided meditation to get that apology. Listen to it at night. Keep listening to it, listening to it, listening to it until it manifests because this person, they're kicking themselves. This is what I'm hearing. They are kicking themselves. For how they treated you. I know I messed everything up. I was clarifying. Look at that. Look at this shit. I was clarifying the page of cups. They, they're they kicking themselves, you guys. They're kicking themselves in the ass. I know I messed everything up. Damn right you did. <laughs> yep. My beautiful, awesome, and amazing Scorpios, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, you guys, take care.